The existence of eternal nature is divided into time periods called cycles by universe scientists. These cycles of absolute nature are networks of natural laws and energies which cause all matter of nature to change for better or worse in a circular manner, completing phases of circular changes as time progresses, and those completed phases are known as cycles of nature. To put it another way, the cycles of nature are similar to the time numbers on the face of a clock, and the laws and energies of nature are the hands of the clock that turn and complete the cycles, and are thereby parts of the cycle network. There are black people of different ethnic races. But usually, when the phrase black people is used by someone, the person is referring to people who are members of the Ethiopian race, and this is appropriate because, when the human races are designated by color, the analysis goes like this, the black race is the Ethiopian race, also called the African race, the original race, the Tarite race, and the kinky-haired race, the brown race is the Phoenician race, the red race is the Indian race, the yellow race is the Mongolian race, the white race is the Caucasian race, and the colored race is the Mongoliad race. Moreover, blackness of the African race shines like the surface of the sun and his energies. Black skin of other ethnic races cannot shine this way, and not supposed to, because the Ethiopian race is direct descendants of the sun. At one time all of Africa was called Ethiopia and the Atlantic Ocean was known as the Ethiopian Sea. Moreover, the word Ethiopian shows close relations to the cosmos that the sons of absolute nature constitute, and the Ethiopian race is the posterity of the sons. To put it another way, the root word of the name Ethiopian is ether, and ether, called sunshine on planet Earth, is the energy who the suns produce. Since original ether, nine ether, is indeed what produced the African race by way of the womb of Mother Earth called the source of the Nine River at Lake Victoria on the equator in Africa, it is appropriate that all kinky-haired people everywhere be called Ethiopian by race. However, words like African and Sudanese, Nubian and Egyptian have practically the same meaning as Ethiopian, philosophically, because all of these words are Latin or Greek words translated from an African language word meaning ether that means black and shining with life. It is true that the penman of this booklet is definitely Ethiopian by race, and like all other kinky-haired people, he is a descendant of Nupu. The novenary and primary energies of the suns. Kinky hair means kingly hair. Natural ether is the universe power and also principle in absolute nature that is life and light. Natural ether can be the fire of growth or the fire of decay. Natural ether is natural fire that naturally burns whatever or whoever it comes in contact with, and this is why when people go out on the beach in the sunshine, they become darker. For black people, this sunshine is within the genes and called melanin by mundane scientists and sun, genes by universe scientists. And this means that black people have a built-in sun in their reproductive and circulatory systems that produces sun genes that burn the surface of the skin of black people. The difference between the sun genes of Ethiopian race black people and black people of other ethnic races is this. The sun genes of African race black people are originally produced by nine ether sun energies, and the sun genes of other black people are produced by six ether sun energies. And this is why the black skin of African black people of the Ethiopian race is supposed to shine, while black skin of other ethnic races does not. Nine ether originates in the top half of the circle of existence during the time that the top half exists, and six ether generates in the bottom half. And this means, of course, that nine ether is more potent and more positive scientifically than six ether is, and this is also why the African hair is kinky and that of other human races is not. Kinky hair, same as saying kingly hair, is a symbol of originality in human beings, because, when planet goddess Earth was orbited from the sun more than 5 billion years ago in flames, her surface finally cooled off as her waters rained from the skies. Of course, at this time the atmosphere of Mother Earth was extremely potent and positive with heat and humidity. Therefore, in order for flesh and blood living beings to survive this powerful atmosphere of goddess Earth, they had to have sun genes within themselves strong enough, to offset the sun genes and heat in this atmosphere of extreme high humidity, and sun genes this strong with heat and humidity always kink the hair of the living beings who possess them within, and these original flesh and blood living beings first born from the waters of mother goddess Earth at the source of the Nile River in equatorial Africa were gods and goddesses with kinky hair by nature who were the original ancestors and progenitors of the African black people of the Ethiopian race. Show me the descendants of the very first people on planet Earth and I will show you the growers of the planet while they were still in their fire form as melting down and active brain newts, prime moving brain acid particles, and this means that all members of the Ethiopian race are synonymous with the original creator, because the essences, nine ether, of the original ancestors and procreators, gods and goddesses, of the Ethiopian race and the essences, nine ether creative energies, of the original creator were indeed the same. Therefore, by nature, the ethereal and spiritual science of the African race is the original and creation science of the universe is called noon. 
The African original creation powers of the universes are properly and scientifically called Nupu. Nupu is found in the American English Dictionary and in philosophy as Nu, pronounced news, and the original ethereal and spiritual science of Nu, Nupu, is Nun. The Ethiopian race science of all the worlds. Nupu is the original mental and creation powers of almighty nature known as sound right reason. The history of black slavery in the western I hemisphere of planet Earth is well known by many or even most people, and by constantly reminding members of the Ethiopian race about their negative history, other than telling ourselves, never forget, enemies of the African race hope to perpetuate fear, inferior complex, and hopeless and worthless feelings among us. Enough has indeed been said, written and expressed and shown about our negative history, negative thinking, negative actions, and negative outlook. Now racial relatives, let's get on with the obligation, ordeal, and task of renewing, recreating, and reclaiming our positive true culture and positive history like who we are by nature in the positive. What is our racial potential by nature in the positive? What can we do right now toward our mental liberation and well-being in the positive? What we need to know and experience about our positive side for change, progress, and success for better living and longer life, and without doubt, in our positive history. We must remind all that we, the Ethiopian race, are the first to give law, order, culture, and decorum to the world of peoples before we ourselves were indeed deceived and supplanted by physical and spiritual enemies, negative forces and powers of evolution, whose time it was to rule on planet Earth. Members of the African race, let's go on and forward with making history, positive history, instead of just talking and reading about our negative past for the last 6,000 years, and we can do this by finding and using our positive natural potential as a human race of nature, and we can recreate and practice our positive culture by utilizing sound right reason, also called nine reason, the laws of nature, and all our natural abilities in general in unity with each other. We Ethiopians by race do find our positive history and positive true culture in the science noon in the African powers called Nupu, the positive reasonability of the Ethiopian race. The future positive history of the African race includes giving true culture to the world of Poeples again, including decent decorum, laws of nature, and the knowledge of well-being, to the world of peoples, although we Africans fell victim after that good deed. This time, however, the circle of existence is beginning to go upward, our way, instead of downward the way that victimizes the Ethiopian race by nature. Culture means cultivation, mentally, physically, and spiritually in the form of nature education by sound right reason for determining conduct, decorum, and behavior of persons and things as a way of life for distinguishing knowledge from ignorance and rightness from wrongness, truth from falsehood, justice from iniquity, honesty from deception, reality from delusion, reason from belief, etc. In other words, true culture is everyday conduct and activities of people based upon absolute nature, sound right reason, and the laws of nature as a way of life and death. Therefore, the pursuit of the nature of nature and its laws by way of nine reason via nature knowledge, nature understanding, and nature wisdom is the true culture of the African race also called the Ethiopian race. The Ethiopian race civilized, to use a Caucasian term, the other human races of the world before falling victim by nature to the adverse forces of evolution, those that are the enemies of the Ethiopian race. The negative forces of nature that brought the world and its peoples to the brink of despair and destruction, morally and otherwise, are not of the nature to pull the circle of existence upward instead of downward. Nupu and Nun must do that with nature knowledge and nine mentality the powers and science of survival and well-being for the positive. Noon the science of sound right reason is the beginning of the natural heritage and legacy of the Ethiopian race, because it gives kinky-haired people what we need for a mental and spiritual power base to accomplish what we need for survival and well-being as individuals and as a human race. Like our racial relatives on the African continent, the original motherland of all kinky-haired people, Africa and all it has to offer are our heritage too. Hence, all African descendants who do not live on the land known as Africa should connect ourselves to our racial relatives there in a similar manner as Jews do with Israel and other Caucasians do with Europe and strive for a similar result by unity and relativity. It is sad indeed how members of all other ethnic races have jewelry stores, companies, and businesses that buy and sell very valuable precious stone, precious metals, and precious minerals like diamonds, gold, oil, and other very valuable desirable substances, but not members of the African race in the United States of America, although out continent Africa is the richest in matters of this sort on planet Earth. The point is this, African Americans and African descendants everywhere must wake up and help our racial relatives in Africa rebuild and reculture Africa and do what should be done for the benefits of safety and economic security for us all. And this is our natural heritage and positive legacy beginning with Nupu and Noon the powers and science that bring out the best not only in members of the Ethiopian race but all races. Only ethnic race capable of compassing, going all the way around, 
the whole existence circle, because in the top half of the circle, we exist as flesh and blood gods and goddesses, and in the bottom half of the same circle, the African race exists as demigods and demigoddesses and human beings descendants of the flesh and blood gods and goddesses who exist in the top half during the time that the top half of the circle exists. Therefore, the potential ability and capacity of the Ethiopian race is as limitless as flesh and blood beings can be. What new poo, the African powers of nature, will do is wake up, develop, and refine our capacities and abilities of nature as they come due, and part of the process of doing this is noon, the ethereal science of new poo, like this positive information. Hence, we kinky-haired people have the potential of becoming demigods, part god and part human, in the bottom half of the circle of existence and reach full godhood in the top half when it exists, and the path to this status is upward in mentality, and increase in reasonability, standards, and moral values by sound right reason and the laws of nature in the positive. Without Nupu and Nun, the positive powers and sciences, of absolute nature and the Ethiopian race, the future outlook of kinky-haired people looks gloomy and indeed full of deceit and despair as far as producing and contending in the world like other peoples of other races and avoiding the scapegoat role and underling role among peoples and being the tool or adjustable wrench to be used to adjust anything that goes wrong in a society. The time has come for black people, members of the African race, to stop and I desist wearing the label of dumbness, laziness, and shiftlessness put on us by individuals of other ethnic races and even by us ourselves. The only way we can truly call them wrong is by our works to the contrary of their accusations and not just words. Just rhetoric, talk, can only be blueprint, direction, and guidance for what must be accomplished, for action is needed to get the job done. No person or persons of other human races are going to liberate us kinky-haired people from the adverse conditions that we find ourselves in. We ourselves must do that with reasonability and the laws of nature by help of Nupu and Nun. We kinky-haired people can count on the same adversities from the same enemies of the Ethiopian race and the same miserable conditions created by them and us until we embrace Nun and Nupu the Ethiopian race's positive powers and science of almighty nature that do bring out the best in not only the African race but all peoples. It is true that Africa is wherever the African is in his and her right mind, and that right mind is the resurrected and liberated mind by Nupu and Nun. The fact that nature produced various human races who look different and have different natures presupposes, suggests, racism which is simply the natural honor, support, and respect a person has for his or her own kind while recognizing and respecting the natural rights of other people of other ethnic races to do the same. There is nothing wrong with equal racism, because racism exists by nature in fact whether we like it or not. It is one-sided racism that is diabolical and wrong and will eventually destroy those who promulgate, preach, it and practice it. Those transgressors of nature's laws will be destroyed by the laws of nature and nature's processes of balancing. Off individuals, societies of individuals, nations of individuals, and races of individuals. A one-sided racist believes that he or she is someone special by divinity or greater mentality or both and is thereby a privileged person over other peoples of other racial posterities, and it is true that this position may exist temporarily like it already has, because it is also true that there are spirit beings who aid and abet one-sided racism, and this activity was a feature of the moon cycle, the cycle of forgiveness and mercy and no holds barred. It is likewise true that if the ruling spirit beings of our planet Earth favor a particular group, nation, or race of people, those people favored will surpass others in their endeavors, mentally, spiritually, and economically during the time of their favored I dominion, because spirit beings are programmers and controllers of I I persons, places, and things. Then too, evolution itself shows favoritism in its processes of changes in matter for worse. Therefore, the race of people best of at the beginning of evolution will indeed be worst of at the end of evolution, and that ethnic race is definitely the Ethiopian race, and this means that negative evolutionary forces of nature automatically created enemies of the African race by nature. If a person believes in one-sided racism, the god whom he or she believes in supports that position, and the evil person may also be driven by hate and the powers of the spirit dead called negromacy that emanates from the god whom he or she believes in. Moreover, the one-sided racist may be driven, not only by hate and necromancy, powers of the dead, but also by need, a greed, or desire for material wealth and easy living plus an oppressive nature which is indicative and typical of the spirit dead upon those they disfavor or dislike. The foregoing correct information constitutes the evil religious spell Caucasians sometimes tell members of the Ethiopian race that they are cursed with, 
and it is not the sun black skin and kinky hair, because these are qualities of superiority in human beings, but what is surely but unfortunately missing for members of the Ethiopian race which will make us equal with, members of other human races is our sound right reasonability, and new poo, who is sound right reason also called nine reason, is now returning from the centers of universe orbs like the sun, earth, and moon in its positiveness in the form of positive atmosphere and nine mentality. The preceding correct information about evil spells and curses is the negative news but the nice news, nine and positive news, is this, now that the moon cycle, marking the end of the Virgo cycle, is over and the sun cycle, marking the beginning of the Libra cycle, is starting, it is true that persons, places, and things by laws of nature have begun to balance off and balance out for better in the revolution cycle rather than for worse as it was in the evolution cycle, and the upward better balance trend will indeed continue indefinitely, that is to say, until the Ethiopian race reaches tip-top of the existence circle again in the persons of the flesh and blood gods and goddesses from whom the African race surely descended from. When an ethnic race is an underling to other human races, the women of that oppressed race be used as sexual dumping grounds by any male who calls himself a human being. This social evil is not only degrading to the females of the race but the race as whole, and in the case of the Ethiopian race, it destroys the purity, dignity, and respect for our race. For example, it has been said that if a Caucasian person has the equivalent of one drop of African race blood in his or her veins, that person is not Caucasian and will not be accepted as a member of the Caucasian race. This means that, whether it be a black man and Caucasian woman or a white man and black woman, their offspring will have to go for black, because he or she, if background is known, will not be accepted in the Caucasian race, no matter how Caucasian the mixed offspring might look, this is destruction or genocide of our ethnic race by miscegenation, because the racially mixed person will be forced to become a member of the Ethiopian race by one-sided rejection by the Caucasian race and one-sided acceptation by the Ethiopian race. We Ethiopian race males must teach our women and younger females to be sexual dumping grounds neither for Caucasian men nor men of other ethnic races and teach them why it is not in the best interests of the African race, mentally, spiritually, morally, and physically, and we Ethiopian race males must guide them by setting examples for them as well as educating them on the wrongnesses of miscegenation and interracial mixing, sexually. The sexual dumping on our beautiful black race must stop and desist, if we black people of African descent are to survive as a race with dignity and definite identity which is our kinky hair and our sunshiny black skin when we are in our purity. The practice of one-sided and hate-mongering racism is wrong, evil, and will be destroyed by the laws of nature in their balancing processes for better standards of living, now that the Libra cycle for liberation and justice are here and active.